Polystyrene is another is another addition free radical polymer. It happens for exactly the same reason, and the formation of the free radical is exactly the same as before. Here, an organic peroxide is acted upon by ultraviolet light and produces two free radicals. Our first step is to take one of those free radicals and attack a styrene monomer. Whatever the styrene monomer is presented like in the question, you need to see it in the same form as all of our other starting materials. CH2 with a double bond, and then the piece that's not involved in the reaction that gets repeated, we swing down out of our way. In this case, for styrene, it's an aromatic group. The mechanism, same as before, free radical electron will attack the first carbon, the upper bond breaks, one electron moves to the left, the other to the right. Our starting material is now bonded to the first carbon. The double bond breaks, the upper bond of the double breaks, and we write just a single bond to CH. The aromatic piece below, not involved in the reaction, and we end up with a free radical electron on the right hand side. Now, our product out of step one becomes our reactant into step two. X bonded to CH2, CH with an aromatic piece below and a free radical electron. We add a second piece of monomer. Our product out of step one, which is also a free radical, attacks a second piece of monomer. The free radical electron moves to the space between the free radical and the first carbon of the double bond. The upper bond breaks, one electron to the left, one to the right. The product which has the second mer added, the two electrons have formed a bond that join them together. The upper bond of the double breaks, and the electron that moved to the right gives us our free wrap. One more step. Our product out of step two becomes our reactant in step one. of monomer. Once again, free radical electron attacks, upper bond breaks, one electron left, one to the right. monomer joins. This double bond breaks as well. And now we've shown three complete additions. This material can self-terminate or we can deliberately show the termination by adding hydrogen.
we bracket the first mer, put it in outside, and then we show the last mer in free radical form. Plus h bound into h. Free radical electron attacks. The single bond of the hydrogen is broken, one electron to the left and one to the right. It severs the only bond between them. When we join the hydrogen, this now becomes a CH2 group. It's no longer a free radical, and the other hydrogen is a free radical that can go on to terminate another growing polystyrene chain. 